The purpose of this video is to show you how to troubleshoot a level switch. There's many different kinds. This would be a Dwyer L6. comes in perpendicular to a tank where the ball lifts up and down. Uh, these are very common. These are the kind of switches that are used in sight tubes on air water separators or so forth where the float lifts and drops. Another kind would be like a mercury type ball float where it's that would be its normal position and then it floats up. The way we want to test these switches to make sure they work is to isolate them from the electrical, which means completely disconnect all the wiring going back to the control panel. All we're interested in doing is checking the switch itself, not anything other than the switch. So this, for instance, this switch right now is in normally open position. Make sure our meter is working where it's open, closed. So we're buzzing out a switch or checking the continuity of it. Usually the blacks are the common, so we would hook one end of our probe to a black wire and we check. So this must be the normal open wire and this blue wire is the normally closed. So we want to test the switch. If we hook to normally open and we lift the ball, it closes the circuit, so now it's closed. This isn't normally closed, this is the active close. This is what happens when the water floats. Normally closed would be when there's, it's sitting in a normal position, which would be the down position, and it's, it's off, on. Normally closed would be in its normal position, the circuit's closed. And when it lifts, it opens. So that's what normally closed, normally open. And we just confirmed that this switch is working fine. We can also test a float switch. These are more like the vertical ones that would be hanging in a, in a sight tube where we, this might be a little tricky. So this is a normally open, floats, closes, open, closed. Notice this switch only has two wires going to it. We could change this into a normally closed just by re flipping this. We take this apart and flip the actual float. 